Hey, what's up YouTube? Down the Smartphone Guy coming back at you with another video and today we're going to take a look at another pair of True Wireless earbuds. These are from a company called Diglot, D-I-G-L-O-T, and these are called the S2 True Wireless Earbuds. So these are actually the very first pair of True Wireless Earbuds that I have that are technically waterproof. Now they actually claim in the ad, so right over here on Amazon, they're $50 by the way, so I should mention that. Um, they're $50 and they actually claim in the ad that you can go swimming with these. Now, I did wear them in the shower and they did just fine. There were no issues. Um, however, they're IPX7 certified, which with IPX7, you're looking at technically one meter of uh, waterproofing. So uh, that's, you know, three feet essentially uh, that you can go underwater for 30 minutes. That's what IPX7 represents. So. Um, they say that you can go swimming and surfing and things like that. Now, I kind of question that, but overall, I would say, uh, yeah, they definitely are good for running in the rain or anything like that. Um, for a workout, you get super sweaty. They're going to be just fine. So I'm just going to go over some of the specs real quick, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at them. So uh, the specs are right here on the back of the box. So they are using Bluetooth version 4.2. Um, like I mentioned, um, they are waterproof, IPX7 waterproof. Now they, they say that they're good up to 10 meters and I will say that for Bluetooth earbuds, these actually, um, I could get quite a ways away from my phone. So I had them connected up to my Moto E4 Plus and I could get quite a ways. So like if I'm sitting here in my office, I could get probably even further than 10 meters because um, I was going up my stairs and I would still get service. I went up to my kitchen because my office is down in the basement and I would still get service. So um, the range seems quite good. Now the capacity of the actual charger. So this is the actual charging unit um, that they will charge in is 850 uh, milliamp hours. Um, and then the earbuds themselves, according to the box, have a uh, capacity of 45 milliamp hours. So actually the, the power bank here, or the charging uh, mechanism here has 850 milliamp hours. So each earbud has 45. So you're looking at about eight full charges that you can get out of these earbuds uh, using the charging case. And they only take about an hour to charge. So that's a huge thumbs up. Now, this is the part where I'm actually going to uh, differ from what they say on the box. So on the box, they say that they get four hours of continuous talk time. Now, I don't know, like I was never on a phone call for that long or even tested it with phone calls. But I w what I will say is that with music, I did actually test it. I went on a, a long road trip, had an eight hour drive home. And so I put these in my earbuds and I actually looked at the clock to see what time I put them in my ears. I was listening, first of all, to a podcast. So uh, that would use less battery capacity than uh, music would because obviously there's not as much volume to kick out. Um, and then I listened to some music after that. So I listened to the podcast for about an hour, listened to some music for a little bit over an hour. And uh, they claim on here four hours of talk time. But what I was getting with music and podcasts um, and we're talking about 50% volume um, was closer to like two and a half hours. So I definitely was not getting the four hours that they claim here on the box. Um, so uh, they do say also here on here um, that you get one hour um, for charging and that was pretty accurate, um, but that's about it. So um, on the actual um, power bank really is what you can call this um, because it is a power bank. It does have an output so you can plug in a USB and technically charge up your device. So it does come with a USB to micro USB uh, cable. So you could charge out an external device. Obviously with this only having 850 milliamp hours, you're not gonna be able to charge whatever device it is fully, um, unless it's just a smaller device. Um, so we just have a power button here. On the other side, we have our inputs. So this is how you're actually going to charge the charging case itself. So there it is, and that's micro USB. So that's why they have um, the micro USB to USB cable in the box. And then the earbuds just pop out like that. This is all there is to them. Um, so they, they attach magnetically. There's really no question about where they go. Um, and they actually can continue to play music while they're charging. So that's uh, different. A lot of uh, Bluetooth earbuds, as soon as you plug them into the charger, they basically shut off from, or they disconnect from your Bluetooth device or whatever they're connected to. So I found it kind of interesting because I, I assumed that that would be the case with these, but um, you can plug these in and they will stay connected to the device, which is kind of cool. Um, so they are marked with a L and an R. 
And uh, that's actually somewhat important. Um, obviously, it really doesn't matter technically which ear they're in. You could kind of switch them out if you wanted to. So um, oftentimes, I'll connect things to my Huawei Watch 2. And uh, this, obviously, on my left wrist, I want the main earbud to be closer. Um, so the right earbud, in this case, is the main earbud. So I actually put it when I had it connected to my uh, my Huawei Watch 2 Adam connected so that the right earbud was actually my left ear. Now it does matter in some cases like if you're watching a movie and some volume is specifically coming out of the right ear then obviously that would make a difference but in general it really wouldn't matter because most music doesn't have uh, a specific right and left um, sound so overall I would say that's not a big deal um, but one thing I did find with these is again they do stay connected quite well. Battery life, we kind of already talked about. I was only getting about two and a half hours of battery life. Um, but sound quality wise, these are fantastic. Um, I would put these right up here with the top of the True Wireless earbuds. Um, there are definitely uh, over the ear style earbuds that sound better. There are True Wireless earbuds that I've had that uh, are rival these. Um, and are just as good as these, but these do sound very good, and they do have noise isolation in there as well, so you're going to cancel out some noise. So if you are listening to these, especially at a higher volume, which they do get quite loud, um, you will uh, start to not hear some of the things going on around you. So um, that that was actually nice on my eight-hour drive home. Um, but overall, yeah, I would say minus the battery life, um, which... You know, when you connect it to the charging case, you know, you're getting like eight full charges out of this thing. Um, it, you can kind of deal with a two and a half hour battery life. I really wish it was more like it actually got four hours like they claim. Um, unfortunately, that was just not the case for me. But overall, do I recommend them? Yeah, these are, are really good True Wireless earbuds. The sound quality is great. Um, I really like the charging case. It's super simple. You literally just, you know, you pop them right in there. There's no question about how that works. Um, I will also mention one other uh, just slight negative here, and that was that they were actually pretty difficult to get connected to my device. Um, and so let me just kind of give you a heads up on how that works. So um, typically what you do with a true wireless earbud um, or a wireless headset is you'll turn one on, whatever the main earbud is, you'll connect it to your device and then turn the other one on and it automatically next to the other earbud and then you have uh, stereo sound. That's the typical way. But with these, you actually turn them on simultaneously the first time. They will connect to each other. Then you actually want to turn them off and turn the right earbud back on and connect it to your device. So that was how you had to do it. That's what it says in the instructions. It's a little bit different. So again, you're gonna turn them on simultaneously uh, and you want to give them about one to three seconds, they will um, connect to each other. So you want to wait actually quite a while. So once they turn on, you want to wait quite a while, let them connect to each other. Once they've connected to each other, you can shut them off. And again, you'll want to turn the right earbud on because that's the main earbud. Connect it to whatever your device is um, and then turn the other one on and it'll automatically connect to the right earbud. Um, so kind of a longer process than typical, um, but once you do that, once you connect them the first time, then you can just turn them on and they automatically connect to each other and to the next, the whatever device they were at least uh, last connected to. So overall, uh, I definitely recommend them. Battery life and that initial connection are really the only two negatives. Other than that, these are fantastic. So these are the S2. I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in picking them up. They are waterproof, which is fantastic. And uh, overall, a nice pair of Bluetooth earbuds. So thanks for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace.